Let's right be honest. Now. Let's be honest. The Celtics haven't looked over their shoulder in weeks. Okay? Right. And right. The, we teams, the teams that are behind them are all banged up. You know, Dame is out. Donovan is dealing with his knee problems. The Knicks don't know when they're getting their lead players back. But then something happened last night. We saw Joel Embiid come back. Mm. And Joel Embiid looked very, very good to me. Now, he obviously was going to be con facing some conditioning issues, but he moved well, he got lift, he got to his spots. I think Joel Embiid's got a good chance to get back into that rhythm by the time the playoffs come. And they are sitting there in the eighth seat. And they're, they're two games plus out of the tie break from six and seven. The, the Celtics better just well, keep an eye on those. And yes, Brian Windhorst was right. The Boston Celtics would be wise to maintain a keen focus on the Philadelphia 76ers since they are currently the number eight seed in the Eastern Conference. Though they will enter the play-in season tournament, everything can change. But I do also think that the Philadelphia is the Boston Celtics' biggest threat entering the postseason. With the competitive intensifying in the Eastern Conference, it's imperative for Boston to recognize the formidable threat posed by the Philadelphia, led by Joel Embiid. The 76ers have demonstrated their prowess on the court, making it essential for the Celtics to not underestimate their opponents.